Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to today's video. So today's video is about another foundation and it is the brand new one from Makeup Forever. It is the HD Skin Hydra Glow. So I am a huge fan of the original HD foundation. I have it here. Now this is the reformulated one. I was a huge fan of the original and then the reformulated one. I think I'd hit, you know, hit or miss Re reviews when this one came out. I actually really like it. It lasts really well on me. It's a little less like coverage than the original, but I'm fine with that. It lasts, I, I just love it. I, but I also like a matte finish. So I got the new Hydra Glow. I have it actually in two shades. Um, I have been professionally matched in this shade. I was matched in the original. And when this one came out, the shades were so confusing um, that I went to Sephora when they were there and I was matched by a Makeup Forever professional and uh, they matched me with 1N14. So that is my shade and it works really well. Um, so I do have 1N14 and then I also have 2N22 because I did want another shade that is for when I, you know, maybe have a spray tan or something and that's the next shade up. So I'm gonna show you both, um, just kind of swap them both on my face to kind of show you what they are and then what I'm planning on doing is doing a couple side by side so I'm going to I'll place the Hydra foundation and then show you half my face without and then I'm going to go ahead and put the original um, the HD skin the matte version on this side just so you can do a quick side by side however I'm not going to be wearing it all day like that because I don't want a matte face and a luminous face you know that's just gonna look weird so uh, I will take that off and then I'm going to do an all day I won't say an all day wear test but I'm gonna do a wear test for several hours um, now I have worn this already it is in the box again but I have worn it two or three times I've worn it in a couple videos I just didn't mention it so I actually I was sent these by the brand by the way so <laughs> that's the reason why I have them early so I have been testing them I have worn them on camera already and uh, I actually really like it and I am not a luminous you know, finish type girl that likes that type of finish. It is a medium coverage, luminous uh, finish, very hydrating, but it's very comfortable. So very excited to kind of do some side by side tests, do a little bit of a wear test, and then come back at the end of the day, wrap it up and let you know whether or not I recommend it. Okay, so real quick, we'll do a side by side comparison of the bottles. So you can see this one has like a tan top uh, with black writing, and this one has a white top with white. Uh, writing and but they're very similar they are both 1.01 ounces the original one is and I'm gonna call this I know it's not the original one but the original HD skin for what's available now this one is currently $45 and this one is $47 so this one is a medium to full coverage with a natural matte finish which I do have a video on that I believe so I'll post it up here uh, but that's pretty much what it is and again very a, very much a fan but it's a medium to full coverage but it's buildable so you can get a medium coverage to get a full is you gotta you gotta add quite a bit now this is a true medium you can build it but you're really not going to get you know a lot of coverage so uh, I like a lot of coverage uh, I probably don't need it as much as I used to because I have done some laser on my face and that has really helped but I think with just kind of just habit. I am getting away from trying to use, you know, less full coverage foundations and really appreciating those that are medium coverage. So this is a true medium, um, medium coverage. And it says an 86% skincare based foundation with medium coverage and a naturally luminous finish that hydrates, smooths, plumps and brightens skin instantly and over time. Inspired by skincare sheet mask, the skin boosting formula delivers 24 hour hydration, blurring and glow. Ideal for dry, mature, and sensitive skin. This foundation also vi visibly improves skin textures and radiance after four weeks of use. The feather light texture melts into skin and is buildable for added coverage. Now this one I believe has 36 shades. This one is 40 shades. So this one has a few more shades. So, um, but yeah, you can see it's a luminous finish. It's going to, you know, I like that it's for, you know, they mentioned it's more for dry and mature skin. Now I do, I am on the mature side. Uh, it is, I am 47. If you have never watched my channel before, I am 47. So let's go ahead and put the Hydra skin on this side of my face and we can do a side-by-side -side comparison to nothing at all. 
And actually, before we do that, I am going to just do the quick swatches on my face. So this is the 1N14, which is beige, and it is for light skin with neutral undertones. So then again, that is 1N14. And then this is going to be 2N22. Now this is the next shade up. So you can see, now this one almost looks to be close by. It almost looks to be a better match to my skin tone because it kind of blends a little bit more. However, if I put this one on, I'm going to have a very white neck and it's going to be very noticeable. Um, so it's, I can definitely make it work for my face, but I would have to kind of do it all over. Now, when I have a spray tan, that shade will probably work a little bit better. So the shade that I was matched to was the 1N14. Um, so that is the one I'm going to wear today. And since I'm swatching, I will go ahead and swatch the original HD skin. And this is the 1N14. I'll do another swatch. Actually, I will go ahead and do a swatch on my arm and put it in the sunlight of all three. So the first one will be the original HD skin. The second one will be the HD Hydro Glow. Those are the 1N14. And then last one will be the, H the Hydro Glow in 2N22. So, but there they are on my face. So now let's go ahead and apply it. Okay, I forgot to talk about the consistency. This one has definitely more watery than the um, original HD skin, which makes sense because the other one is matte. So I'll go ahead and just kind of show you here. You can kind of see here and it kind of has that, you know, it will drip. So let's go ahead and do the other one. And if you look at the other HD skin, you don't see it dripping. So that's the Hydra Glow. So it's definitely more watery. This one has got more, it's thickness to it which makes sense considering their finishes. Okay, so I am going to use a brush at first. It's not my favorite way to apply foundation, but I might go back in with a sponge, but I am going to try this time with a foundation. And you can see it just blends in really nicely. It does have a nice glow and a nice luminosity to it, but not where I look like a greasy mess like I just came out of a sauna. So it's a really nice finish. Um, as someone who doesn't really like medium coverage, who doesn't really like glow type or dewy foundations, I actually like it. Now, I personally do not like it more than the original one, but that is because I prefer a matte finish with a fuller coverage. However, during the winter months, when my skin is dry, I cannot really wear that foundation. This one is actually really nice. So I've actually been wearing it quite a bit and it's a really nice self foundation. So let me finish this side and come back. Okay, so here's the side by side. Here is the side with the Hydro Glow. This is the side with nothing. So you can kind of see, very natural finish, definitely. Now I will set it with a loose powder because I always set my foundation but it's a really pretty finish. And then you have this side with nothing. Now I don't have any primer on, I just have a moisturizer on, that is it. So with the Hydro Glow and without, so now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we are going to put on the original HD foundation, but I need to clean the brush. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put on the original and put that on the other side of my face. And like I said, I'm not going to wear this all day. I just wanted to do a side by side, especially since I have the same shade in both. So you can see as far as the difference of coverage, because maybe you aren't like me, maybe you don't like a fuller coverage, or maybe you don't like a matte finish, and you want something with some luminosity. And you tried this one and just didn't work for you. So um, now I will say this one has great longevity. The Hydro, the Hydro Glow does have great longevity as well. It's just not as good as the um, this one, this HD skin. And that's to make sense because it's more of a matte finish and it's got a fuller coverage. So it's just gonna last a little bit longer, but the Hydro Glow for what it does, it does have some good longevity. So let me finish up here and we can come back. Okay, so here is the face with the original HD skin and here is the side with the Hydro Glow. So um, I think you can see this one has definitely more of a matte finish. Now it's not a, it is definitely a natural matte finish. It doesn't feel like it's dry. It's very comfortable. Um, I do feel like it has a little bit more coverage. This side has a nice glow to it. Um, so a little bit of, you know, 
uh, matte, a little bit of luminosity, but not much. But then this one does, I think it, the Hydro Glow, I think is a very descriptive name of this foundation. Now when you powder and you set it, that does go away a little bit, but it does come through, it does come back through. I like that uh, the setting powder, you know, does take that away. Now, if you have very dry skin, then you're probably not going to want that. And this is the kind of glow, but I think this glow is very comfortable. It's natural. I don't look like a greasy mess. And if you don't have a lot of oils coming through, I think this is a really pretty look. So again, Hydro Glow and the original HD skin. Okay, so I am back. I um, actually just took the makeup off completely and reapplied my entire face. Uh, I did actually use, I started to use the, the sponge and I didn't like it with a sponge. I did actually like it with a brush because it is such a thin formula. Um, the original one, I like using a sponge because it's kind of thicker. Uh, I think the word is viscosity but um, I did like using it with a brush. So I did apply it all over my face um, and I did put some concealer on this time. So I am going to set it really quick and I'm gonna set it really quick with my um, Huda Beauty uh, Pound Cake. This is my favorite um, uh, setting powder. And I'm just gonna set the side of my face first so you can kind of see the difference. And then I will go in and then come back and show you uh, just kind of come back once I put on the rest of my makeup. Okay, so here is the side of my face with some powder. This is without. Again, the natural oils for my face will start to come through, but I do like setting my foundation. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face, come back before finishing the wear test. Okay, so I am back. This is kind of how it looks. So um, just put very minimal makeup, just a little bit of powder blush, little bit of, um, you know, you know, eyeshadow, uh, brows, all that stuff, but just very minimal. Um, I'm going to come back at the end of the day and do a kind of recap. I'll try and take pictures. It's really cloudy here today, so there's really not much sun outside, so I don't know how many good pictures I will get outside, but um, yeah, so I will come back in a few hours and check in. Okay, so I am back and I have been wearing this, I wanna say for about seven hours. So not a full um, wear test, a full day wear test. However, I have worn it a couple times previously, um, but not, again, I, I'm not one to wear foundation for like, you know, 12, 16 hours anyway. So the only time I do that is when I'm on vacation and when I'm at Disney World. So, um, but my thoughts are, so first of all, let's do, I. I did record three um, times throughout the day, except one of them I must have didn't film and I, I just had like me filming the ground. So I missed one of them, but this one right here is uh, about one and a half hours in. So you can see it's still pretty fresh. And this one right here is about four hours in. And you can see there's not a lot of difference between the two. So um, now I will say there was a couple things. I did notice, uh, especially as I was looking in the camera and looking at myself, um, I could definitely see the texture and see my pores. However, I can see that in other foundations too. And I usually will use a primer, a pore filling primer or smoothing primer to help with that. Um, but even though it's a, a Hydra Glow foundation, uh, I did set it, but you can see I don't look like a shiny mess. Typically with a hydrating, dewy or glowy foundation, by the end of the day, I look like a greasy mess. And that's not the case with this foundation. I think it's very beautiful. It's very natural. It's, you know, it's lasted really, really nicely. Um, and I would say it's, is it my favorite foundation? No, but that's because it's a personal preference. Um, I, if I were to like go out for the evening, which one would I choose? I would probably choose this one because this one is tried and true. I like a matte finish. I know this is gonna last. However, this one has really great longevity and I think I'm gonna continue using it because I really like it. I think it's really good. And the fact that it has a glow to it, it is medium coverage, not full. Uh, and I like it, that tells me a lot. So that says a lot. So if you are someone who likes a you know, little bit of a glow or has dry skin, 
or likes medium coverage, you might really like love this. Um, so I think it's definitely worth trying out if that's what you like. Um, I definitely think with Makeup Forever, you need to get shade matched. Um, I remember when this one came out, everybody was getting the wrong shade. So that's the reason why I went to Sephora and got shade matched. And, uh, you know, I think that's definitely you want to do that. But I think it's a beautiful foundation. I'm really impressed. Um, and even though it's not cold here often, it's one like I would wear like on or if my skin's dry, then I will probably reach for this one because I, I do feel like I don't feel um, my, my face feels my face doesn't feel dry. Uh, it doesn't feel it's just it, I don't even feel like I'm wearing foundation. It's a really comfortable foundation. So I highly recommend it, especially if you like I said, if you like um, glowy foundations or medium coverage, it might be one you really, really like. So just make sure you get a properly shade match. So with that, if you like this video, click like, click and subscribe. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. Bye, everyone.